20k going into it again because fuck near. So going into standard play with this fun deck that I made that people are like, shut up, I'm playing a pre-made werewolves deck that's gonna win because I top deck everything. So uh, let's hope that we get a clue and let's see what we'll be going up against. So it is one boss goblin. $20, they're not playing a goblin. Uh, of course, we go first, but we don't have any turn ones, and we have a handful of removal, so we're going to keep, because I hate it. We're going to play our tapped land, pass it politely, play our untapped land. If they play any creature, we're just going to hold it for ransom. If they play another creature, we're holding it for ransom. If they play another creature, we're holding mountain for ransom, too. They don't hold it. They don't play any creatures, which is unfortunate. So it seems like we're going to have to kick it off with a touch of the Spirit Realm. Uh, they're playing some sort of Grixis, you know. It's a lot better than all of the pre-made decks running around that just top deck everything they fucking need. And would you look at that? An underdog. That is a beautiful thing to make touch the Spirit Realm. Mostly because we don't want that creature recursion. Place that touch of the Spirit Realm. Get rid of that underdog. It's no longer there. They can't even sack it. And that's what's most important, especially in the Grixis matchup. If they concede, they're soft, and I hate them. And I'm going to call them out on Twitter. Uh, it seems like they just play their basic land. They're not really sure what to do. Oh, would you look at that? It's just a rabbit battery. I bet they're thinking, oh, it's just a rabbit battery. They wouldn't do anything to it. Please help me. I don't have any actual hits in my hand. I can't do anything. Give me another land. Please. <laughs> Please. No! They're probably going to reconfigure to give it haste, which they can do, but I don't think they realized it because they just passed to their second main, which is after combat. Dumb little idiot, dumb guy, stupid man, stupid little dumb, 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 stupid. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Help. Please. I'm stuck here. I am kind of kind of glad that we put that rapid battery to the end to the end zone blood tide harvester okay okay all right all right okay all right okay and then we're just going to uh we might touch of the spirit realm on the blood tide to make sure that it can't even tap to do anything they spent all of their red mana which is silly and stupid and silly and stupid and we will in fact not be drawing our land so we're just going to keep drawing removal negate 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 stupid and we're just going to take blood tithe harvester unless they have some sort of way to give it protection or safety which they don't so we're going to play yodi and frontliner there's a good chance that if they have a you know a counter spell why haven't they used it what are they saving for Anyway, now we have a Twisted Embrace to make our Yodi and Frontliner even better. Uh, we can also hold up whatever they play for Ransom, because, um, help. Oh, and would you look at that? And they could re- they, they could reattach the Rabbit Battery, but they haven't even hovered anything, so I'm pretty sure they don't even know that they can do that. And unfortunately, we draw Naomi, but we don't draw anything for Naomi, so instead we're just going to, let's see, uh, mm, yes, I wonder what we're going to do. Man, this is very difficult and hard to decide. And then Twisted Embrace is just going to destroy the Blood Craze Socialite. There's a relatively good chance that they have a burn card like Play With Fire that they're holding off on for whatever reason. And we're just going to swing in with two because so far we're untouchable because they don't realize, oh wait, no, they're holding priority because they can still reconfigure rabbit battery, but they haven't figured it out yet. That's awesome. Anyway, help. Please. I'm putting them in jail and that's all I can do. Is this what it is like to live a life of a police officer in, in Italy or like New York back in the 70s with mob bosses and gangsters? Watch. Perfect. 
They could have played that last turn. Why didn't they? What is wrong with them? Anyway, we don't have an artifact anymore, so that's an uh-oh oopsie. So let's hope that they, uh, that we draw a land and that they play another creature. And would you look at that? They're doing two damage to the face. Well, they'll never be able to do that again. Uh, they could actually kill their own stuff. Which is, sounds funny to say, but I doubt that they will. Uh, I never really understood this because it's like a three drop, not a three drop, a four drop, two, three that does two damage. But two damage is like very bad. If it was like a two, four, I could see the appeal. You know, this is not the land that I was hoping for, but we're putting it in jail anyway. But it, it always just felt like a mid card and you know this has to be the most boring matchup because it looks like they either made something or copy pasted somebody else's deck is really excited to see how it goes and they just happen to play against my hand which only has fucking fuck removal bro i still have another hold for ransom in here i still have two more touch the spirit realms dude i bet you we're gonna see them in this game we're gonna play this chain false chain flail chain bail chain mail chain gale okay it seems like they're thinking it seems like they're understanding that we're going to now punch them in the face pretty hard if we draw another land next turn that would be pretty good um Mostly so we can play Naomi and Excavation. Uh, they, they are putting in their 1-1. One, one. So uh, we're not going to be drawing... Uh, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Sure, buddy. Sure, buddy. And would you look at that? I drew another fucking removal spell, as I called it. Anyway, we're playing Naomi, and it doesn't rock because we don't control an artifact anymore. But we're about to, I guess. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll help. Please. They're gonna play a creature. It won't have haste, and we're gonna bring it into the spirit realm. You know, did I call it or did I call it? Are they going to give it haste? Are they going to give it haste? They will not give it haste. And would you look at that? The land that I asked for three hours ago. Um. Anyway, touch of the spirit realm again. And they're just going to be molding. And we're going to be taking that bloodcaster. So thank you very much. And then we're going to be playing the Yodian frontliner, and then we're going to be giving the bonus to Naomi, and then we're going to be getting our Tuchu. But we're also going to be playing Meticulous Excavation. And I know that I could have played it better to get the Yodian back to keep Naomi's ability activating, but um, honestly, this game just, like, really sucks right now, so I don't care. And, um, yeah, we're just gonna sit there. I just realized I've been, like, tap dancing my leg this whole time, and it's been squeaking my chair. So, um, if, if you're hearing this, the, the chair squeaking and all, you might wanna not squeak your chair like a dipshit dumb fuck. And uh, now I'm going to lose because I'm going to only draw lands because that's how all of these games play out. I think I think they realized it. I think they realized it. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. And they got rid of the hold for ransom, so I'm not yelling about that at all. Um. Anyway, die. I race better than you regardless. 
And I could just return it to my hand. If only it hadn't, like, double strike or did the damage first or whatever. I'm gonna get an artifact this draw and it's going to suck. They will not be swinging because I control a 2 2 with the. Oh, wait, no, I won't get an artifact. I'll get a land. Ooh, I love this. Ooh, ooh. No, well, fortunately, because it has vigilance, we won't fall victim to a uh, wandering emperor. And that's our biggest worry right now. You know, decks like these tend to run a lot of planeswalkers. Um, Esper Super Friends has been very popular as of recent. So, uh, they have a knife. Fuck. They're going to equip the knife to the bunny. Swing with the bunny. Oh, no. And then it's going to be an empty board state. No. My biggest fear. Accomplishing nothing. Yeah, and then they have the 2-1, and they're going to swing. They are going to swing. But as you can tell, we are fearless. We are like, um, like Maw. So. <coughs> <coughs> when they pass Pryo, I'm going to be pretty happy about that. Um. Yeah, so we both die. Nice blood token, by the way. I like the blood token synergy, I really do. Oh, would you look at that, a scrap orc rager. No, I can't care less. The other rager is, like, better because it's a 3-2, but this one is more fun, so... Gain that life that we lost by drawing from scrap orc rager into a miss. And then they're gonna, like, draw Blood Tide or something. Yeah, mm-hmm, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yeah, just, just resolve that. I don't even know why I'm holding Cryo, dude. Please be like, if your opponent has 18 life, you win the game card. I mean, that's, you know, pretty bad. I guess, I guess I can... Wait, why did they sack it? They could have sacked that. What are they doing? What are they doing? What am I watching? What am I witnessing? What am I bearing witness to? Huh? Who? What? When? Where? Why? They can literally tap any permanent. Please tell me they're not going to waste it by, like... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, you got this, king. Whoa. Anyway, I'm going to place scrap work over. I'm going to draw a card off of sc scrap work. I'm going to play my land. I'm going to swing with scrap work rager. You're probably going to chump block it because it dies. And then I'm going to activate meticulous resto. Now I'm going to do two damage. And then I'm going to activate meticulous excavation. And then I am going to play Virus Beetle. I don't care if you don't discard a card. I am here to discard your faith. So, uh, and then they play the Blood Praise Socialite. I am screaming. Will I draw the last, the last touch the spirit realm in the deck? Will I, will I be able to do it? Uh, post your comments in the below section now. And uh, we do have a Naomi. Is this an artifact? It is an artifact. So we're going to play Naomi. We're going to play Scrap Work Rager. We're going to lose a life. We are going to draw a card. We are going to gain that life back. 
and then we are not going to kill with the insect beetle, but instead we're going to win, and it's going to be no matter what, and I've got money on my mind, and I never give it up. Uh, they can sack it to return cards back to their hand, but I don't think they have any red cards unless they, like, choose double rabbit battery, which they might. If they do that, that would be goaded. Yeah, uh-huh, but I don't think they will. Yeah, they won't. They're only going to, like, play one, so. And honestly, I'm fine with that. Can they even play either? No, they can't even play either. So we're just going to take two damage to the face. Clear the blood token. They have so many blood tokens. Imagine if they had this, dude. Oh my gosh. Anyway, are we going to top deck our removal and then close out the game? The answer might surprise you. Um... So, we're going to, uh, full swing with everything, even the virus beetle. That one damage is important. And then we're going to create a 2-2 two -two white samurai creature with vigilance. And then we're going to bounce whatever it, they block, which might be the rager, back to our hand. You know, it could also be the samurai, but... Samurais or tokens, yeah, that's exactly what I imagined it to be. And then we use Meticulous Excavation. To call them stupid. And then we, we say next. We could, like, just get another Samurai with Naomi, honestly. So next turn, they probably play out both. And then they're probably going to try and swing, swing with the Network Disruptor, which puts three, four, five, but then we have to sack something, but the sack would be the Virus Beetle. I, I think we just play the Phyrexian Horror, the Scrapworth Rager. Lose a life, draw a card, you know. We got a Yodian frontliner that definitely does go wider. Fortunately for us, they don't have any counter spell. And then, um, well, no, I don't. I don't want to bounce Naomi because even though that's like value or content or whatever, I'm trying to close out the game. Uh, that card could definitely be a hero's downfall doesn't look like it by the case of this. We already know what we're going to be sacking. They're probably going to hopefully sack like a real thing. Instead of like a fake thing that I have held hostage. They realized, damn it. I could have sacked the frontliner to still have the 1-1 one -one swing to be honest. I'm a little bit of a silly boy. Top deck to land, we'll love to see that, and I think we just win. So yeah, uh, TLDR, uh, max out your deck with removal. If you don't, you, uh, stupid. Yeah, you can hit me for five, it won't stop me from winning the game. really hoping to get the the rope on live unedited footage and would you look at that doing seven damage having excess to chill about it get back to yodian because fuck you get back to meticulous get, get back this because fuck you And that's how you DM 
Uh, of course, they were called One Boss Goblin, but they weren't playing goblins, so that's why they lost. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, me watching this video, like, seconds, if not minutes from now. Stupid idiot.